Since you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you enjoy Animal Crossing. And assuming that you've seen the title of this video, I'm also going to assume that you are also interested or curious about what kind of Animal Crossing merch Japan carries. And that's where the assumptions are going to stop today. By the way, have you seen my lottery haul video? As in, a lottery in which you can get exclusive Animal Crossing merchandise, not to mention based on the latest game release, New Horizons. There's a ton of stuff in there that I'm sure you might enjoy, so be sure to check that out and I will leave a link to that video in the description for you. So I recently discovered that the Nintendo store, as in the official store for Nintendo merchandise including Animal Crossing, has an online shop. And the best thing about it is that they deliver. To clarify domestic delivery, I don't think that they deliver overseas at this point. Maybe that might change in the future, but as far as I know, they only do local. And since I can't really get enough of Animal Crossing at this point, and I'm sure you can probably relate if you're watching, I had the chance to buy some stuff, and buy some stuff I did. So in this video, we are going to be unboxing this lovely package from the Nintendo store in Tokyo that is full of Animal Crossing goodies. Now you can see that it has been cut, but I promise you that I have not unpacked the contents of this package. I just cut it so that we don't have to spend too much time opening up the box. So it'll be both your and my first time to see the unboxing of these goodies. And let's get right into it. And the first thing that I pulled out is this gauze handkerchief. And I got this mainly because I love the art design, I love the art concept, and I love merchandise that can full on display the theme or the merchandise art. And this is the main art for this particular merchandise lineup. You can see right here it says Doubutsu no Mori and that is the Japanese name for this Japan originated game. And right on the bottom there in smaller lettering is Animal Crossing in English. And we can see which characters from the Animal Crossing series are being featured on this particular merchandise lineup because as you know, not all characters can be featured in um, Animal Crossing merchandise. So let's see which ones got picked out of the bunch. And I'm going to open it up so I can just, so we can see it more closely, more clearly. Oh my goodness, I'm so surprised that even though it's made out of a gauze-like material, this feels really, really soft and that is such a mind-blowing um, thing to realize because it doesn't look soft at all. I mean, you can see the fibers, right? But let me assure you, it is quite soft. It is durable because it's thick and it's made out of that gauzy-like material. It can handle some rough and tumble for sure. But anyway, let's go back into the characters that are being featured on this lineup. Right here with a basket of apples, we have Stitches, and right next to him I want to say that's Fang. I do have him in my village, so I'm quite chuffed to see him here. That's Isabel. Why does she look so smug here? Um, that, that kind of tickles me. KK Slider, of course. Bunny? Or Lillian? Uh, I'm kind of blanking out on the English name. I don't remember which one is which at the moment. Oh, Marshall is right here. I do have him in my village as well. And the Nooklings are right here. Tommy and Timmy, or Tommy and Timmy. I can never tell who is who. And you can see they're standing right in front of Nook's cranny. And it's quite lovely to see that there's a lot of the scenery and the plant life also based right off of the game. You can see cedar trees right here. There are fruit trees, namely apples over here. I don't see any other fruit being represented. It looks like Stitches had a real go at the apples. It's like all over the place. And yeah, uh, the color scheme is very muted. It is a very soft kind of palette. I actually like that it's not vibrant or colorful. It has a very calming, soothing effect and I can look at this all day. If you're curious about what the back looks like, it's just as cool, it has this sort of negative effect to it. That's super awesome. And I want to point out this small mark here. This is actually the mark of a famous towel company in Japan. They are known for towels because of their high quality and their cloth material. This is a tag of the company Imabari. And if you are a towel aficionado, you probably know that name 
It is the towel company in Japan and is also one of the more famous things or souvenirs that tourists like to pick up. So, just in case you're curious, that means this is no ordinary towel slash handkerchief. This is a high quality brand name towel that is in collaboration with Nintendo. I love this even more. The next item I am pulling out is a placemat or a lunch mat as they call it in Japan. But again, I love things that can have a full on display of the art designs and this is another item that showcases that quite well and it might be difficult to see because they are quite tiny like then the characters are tiny everything is tiny to a miniature scale but you get to see a lot more characters being featured here on this placemat given the scale or given the size of the placemat so there's a lot more things that can be fit here Take for example, let's zoom on in right here. This is as far as my camera will go. Um, we saw earlier Marshall and Isabel in the same design, in the same posing. Uh, but we also see Blathers and he's right in front of the museum appropriately and Apollo. And right here is Stitches with the apples again and he's surrounded by more apple trees. There's Fang. There is Fauna, how cute. That's Ellie. Oh, a balloon carrying a present. And down here we have the Able Sisters and in front of their shop as well. And that's gotta be Rosie. Isabel, again, in a totally different pose. That is very interesting. Oh, Marshall and another kind of style and pose as well. He's fishing. That's, who is that? Who are you? I know your name in Japanese. But I can't recall you in English at the moment, but he's a hamster. Fossil, another balloon and a present. And Nooklings over here, and this time accompanied by Goldie. How sweet. And up here and also in the bottom and scattered all around, we have KK Slider in that same house, in that same truck. And, oh my gosh, Bunny and Philbert. Oh, that's gotta be a loose thread. Yep, that's a loose thread. I love this because I have Philbert in my island and he is so precious. He was the first villager to give me his picture and he just has such a special place in my heart. I'm so happy to see him on this placemat. I actually didn't know he was featured on this placemat. I thought it was just Marshall, but oh my gosh, this makes everything so much better. Anyway, I can just gush about Philbert all day long, but let's see what else we have here. I think that's pretty much it. It's And it's just like a couple of designs repeated over and over. I love it. It's like a map. Let me zoom out again so you can get a more um, better look or a better sense of what the thing looks like in its entirety. I'm gonna have to iron this line out. I hope that's not bothering you. But uh, that can't be helped because it was folded in half and shipped to me that way. It, the box was not big enough for this to be splayed out. The back is uh, pretty plain and it has that Nintendo tag right in the one of the corners. I love this so much. I'm also very afraid to eat on it. If something spills on it, if sauce gets on it and it can't rub off, I would probably freak out. I don't know if they sell these anymore at the moment. Sometimes it's in stock, sometimes it's not. Oh, I forgot I ordered this. It's a file organizer or a file folder. I actually don't know the official English term for it. I think it's just one of those things put together or a combination of those things, but I hope you understand what I mean. It's like a file that you can place your papers in to keep together. In Japanese, this is called a clear file or a clear file. Clear because usually it's transparent or it's plastic so you can see through it. And this one comes in not just one, but two. So let me just zoom out a bit so I can fit it into the frame as such and we can get a better look of what the design in its entirety looks like. And again, we have the same image of the village and the character designs that we saw earlier in the towel and the placemat, 
but it's a lot more clear this time because you can actually see the line art and it's not being um, like blurred out from the fabric so the lines are more clean and the colors are more clean and you can get a better appreciation of what the artwork looks like so here's the other side and the second file folder It's a lot more simple. It's like a collage of all the villagers that you can find in the village map and a scattering of some trees here and there. I'm surprised that there are no flowers. And the back of that one is a really solid yellow-ish, soft yellow design with Dobutsu no Mori in Japanese and Animal Crossing in English right there. And that's about it. And I believe I ordered four items, so this is going to be the last one. Yes, it is a sort of mini haul. Um, a lot of the items that I wanted were already sold out by the time I found out about the Nintendo Tokyo online shop, so kind of missed out on that one. And the last one is this face towel. It's very long. It's not supposed to be used as a bath towel, although you might be able to pull it off if you have a very small child. For adults, I don't think so. That's why they call it a face towel. And this is folded in half, so you will see the other side of it. I just wanted to be able to make it into the frame. It is the same design of the village and the villagers. I'm actually surprised that as a towel, you can see the artwork very clearly. That's usually not the case, but here it is. It is, I believe, not the Imabari towel because I don't see any mark here that indicates that. And it is just your regular towel. Even though it's not human body, it's still super soft and super smooth. It's so beautiful to see and the artwork is clean, the line work is clean. And because it's a bigger scale, you can see the characters more. Like here, you can see Goldie a lot more clearly. There's Marshall for sure, Bunny, Stitches Fang, I forgot you. And so Rosie down in the bottom. Here's the other side. I guess they were able to capture all the villagers this time. Apollo, Fauna, who I had in my village. She actually came to my campsite one day, but I already had four normal villagers at that point and she shared the same kind of personality as um, Flurry. So the conversation was getting really repetitive, so I couldn't keep her. I couldn't. I couldn't. I was getting a little bored of her. Very sweet, but I decided that I needed more variety in personality, so um, unfortunately she left. And Ellie, Bunny, and finally my boy Filbert. The back is just a very solid white. There's nothing really special about it. It is a face towel through and through. Oh, this is a huge tag. Oh my gosh, they actually have a tag that shows the Animal Crossing logo. And it's in Japanese, but this is the Dobutsu no Mori name and underneath that Animal Crossing in English. I thought you would like to see that. I have one more item to share with you and it's not from the Nintendo store, but there is no other video that I can think of that I will be able to toss it in there. So here it is because it matches the theme of this video. It is a pack of designed papers featuring Animal Crossing. And it's not really origami paper because it's not meant really for origami. It's chiogami and chiogami is like design paper. So it's meant for scrapbooking and arts and crafts and whatnot. And I found this at the dollar store. Can you believe it? So it's a dollar and I was mind blown because I never expected to find Animal Crossing merch at the dollar store of all places. It seems that there's only one type of design 
Yep, they're all yellow, so there's just one kind of design. But what we see here uh, are basically a 3x3 three three grid with different patterns, all featuring characters, of course, from the Animal Crossing game. We have KK Slider, Isabel Blathers, Tom Nook. I forgot who this one, Mabel? Yeah. And the Nook Wings, Timmy and Tommy. And then some random villagers here. Molly, for one. Don't remember his name. But yeah, some pretty random villagers. I'm surprised they don't have um, more popular villagers. But I do like that they have inserted some icons from the actual game itself. You can see some fruits, some flowers, uh, fossils, uh, the bottle. Wow, that's nice. Some tools as well. And it's just like a huge nod to the New Horizons style, the art style and the design. And the back is pretty plain. Even though it's not intended to be origami, but I don't think it's a problem if you use it to, um, to make folded animals and whatnot. I got this because I'm journaling the timeline of my island, and I thought this would be a great way to decorate my journal. So you can actually cut out the animals because they have a cut out line, if you can see that, a very um, subtle white line that you can follow with your scissors, and you can essentially cut out the characters from this uh, design paper, which is pretty cool. You can also cut out the border right here and you'll get an Animal Crossing designed border. There are quite a number of ways to use this. And you get, does it say how many sheets? Yes, you get 16 of these sheets for a dollar and it is 15 by 15 centimeters. Not too shabby of a deal, I would say. And it has a pretty nice paper feel to it. And that's all of the things I have to share with you today. If you haven't yet seen that lottery haul video, please do check it out. There's a whole lot of other Animal Crossing stuff that you get to see. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to support me, please subscribe and hit that like. It'll really help me out. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.